Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to all the geeks out there in our little geekdom, and welcome to our little geekdom! Yes, this is the first. Unfortunately, sorry, it's late. Sorry. It's late because I had technical difficulties with my PC. We got it back, and then it didn't work, so... It still wasn't working when we got it back. Yeah, it still wasn't working, so Ziv had to sit for like an hour last night after work and try and fix it. I fixed it. Yeah, it's not beeping anymore. I can play a game. Um, yeah, I just removed the RAM and it looked like the RAM was over fucking so I fixed it. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we're a day late, but hey, rather a day than never. Yes, exactly. Isn't that the whole point of this entire experiment? Yes. So. Yes. See how bright it is in here. We've changed our light bulb. <laughs> this is obviously our first podcast and um, it was kind of off guard so it's going to be a random little one this week and yeah. then the next ones will be a bit more structured. I think we'll probably be uh, also streaming from our PCs once we get another camera for Kez's computer. Yeah. Or when she connects her Canon, the one that you're watching us do right now, to her computer. Then um, we'll more than likely be streaming with a few guests as well. Yeah, um, we'll I would love to get some of the guests that really i've been looking forward to getting some of these these fun guests on um, well we are we will have a guest next week um anyway will we yeah who agreed i don't know <laughs> surprise we don't know yet whoever but, you are please say yes but um, uh yeah we are looking at a few of the, the the content creators out there some streamers um i know that i'm keen to have zappa geek on mm -hmm. because i want to talk to him a bit more about um about survival games and things because he's big into survival games and I've I've actually been big into my survival games for a while. Um, so it's a good that, that would be a good conversation to have with him. Um, I know that we were gonna he wanted to get uh, uh, Waza, do monkey yeah. Waza on. So you could talk to him about DBZ and anime and stuff yeah. like that. Well, about Dragon and Ball Z <laughs> and um, GTA and stuff like that. But I GTA? think I yeah, why not? Yeah, I not um, that much anymore though. <laughs> as you can see, this is obviously the, the most random pod first podcast ever. Why um, not? So, some good news is that our cats are number 11 on the list to come and fly. Number 11? No, to, number 11 to come and fly to, to I almost said South Africa, to Scotland. <laughs> So suddenly um, Scotland has turned into South Africa. Yeah. Um, so no, no, there no. Is, the lights are still on. <laughs> there is some good news that they will, they are on their way. They're not going to come <laughs> on the fifth. Um, that kind of fell through, but they yeah, are on their, on their way. Um, yeah. But also some exciting news is that Little Nightmares Two came out recently. That's, that's going to be an interesting one. Too. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I think mainly because. What we played through the first little nightmare as well. I, I played watched. through. <laughs> I watched the end, so that kind of <laughs> I played through little nightmares, <laughs> and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was an epic game. Uh, it was very well made. I think that the developers, it's good to see that they actually made made the money to be able to actually run another another project. Yeah, and that um, there was such high demand for it. Yeah. I mean, it came out mm. last week, Friday, I think. Yeah, I think it was the 11th that it came out and it's had such high demand and their, their Twitter feed is so cool. Like, I we, we follow them on Twitter and every time someone mentions their game, they obviously retweet it and say, look at this and look what this person did. Yeah. So they're a very um, interactive company for doing that and actually getting involved with the, the people that have played their games and actually bringing mm. them the, the traction that they need to get more people to play the game, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Um, it is. What I'm especially looking forward to with this one is that there's actually two of you. Yeah, so um, I think you might be able to play cooperatively, which, which yeah. actually would be quite awesome. Obviously, we haven't gotten the game yet. We are possibly looking at getting it so that we can just see what it's like um, and obviously let you guys know as well. Yeah. But there yeah. are two people in it, which hopefully, as as I've said, we can do co-op because that would be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then I would have to die while we'll asking to come and help me the whole time. Because then you'll be right there playing with me. So that, yeah, that, getting that, exasperated by the way she's playing. Because that's normally how it works. <laughs> that, that works for me. <laughs> yeah, so no, it's, it's good news on the, 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 the gaming front with regards to that. I mean, we need a little bit of a, a, a pickup since uh, 
because other times fell through quite heavily. Yeah, I still like it. No, I like it too. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I am not going to return the game. Uh, I, 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 I have... Look, the fact of the matter is The Witcher 3 came out buggy as hell as well and it turned out to be a pretty good game. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just go, oh no, well I want my money back because then I'm gonna have to pay for it again and certain times I mean look, okay, I got a hard copy of the game, so you know not very yeah. many people that get a hard copy of it, but we were the, the two that got the hard copy. Um, you get a you get a um, you get some of the people who will turn the game and um, it's it's digital. Just remember that the PlayStation store is is um, has stopped selling the game. So, you ain't getting it back, ever. So, unless Sony brings it back, you ain't getting it back. It's as simple as that. The game will get, they'll keep doing uh, work on it, fixing the game for the guys who still own the game. But, we don't know when Sony's gonna yeah. have them sell the game again. And when the game's working fully and we're all having a ball, don't come crying to us about the fact that you don't get a chance to play the game because you rent and return it. It's your own fault. You know, and we've we've been playing it, and I I I'm a lot further than Zip from the game, and I've been playing it, and um, a lot of the crashes, a lot of the crashes have stopped. So <laughs> I haven't I haven't had a like blue screen crash for a very long time. There's yeah, just bugs like just immersion break where he showed he did the yeah, t-pose yesterday yeah. where i was sneaking into this one place last night and the guy <laughs> was standing in a t-pose and i'm standing behind him i'm like okay and I, I just stood there it was funny and he didn't even notice me he was literally just standing in a t-pose or when you drive around and people randomly just fall out of the sky yeah no, it's, um, a bit, like, it's, it's, it's funny it's, it's funny, funny, funny but it's but... immersion breaking it can it can it can break your immersion but not enough for me to not want to play the game i still mm. enjoy the game i mean i'm, I'm Look, I'm only a, a bit of the way in, so I can't say that I'm I, I, I I'm, I'm thoroughly like in love with the game as of yet. But you know, I'm giving CD Projekt Red a chance. Uh, I'm not happy with the with what the executives did. I think they shouldn't have pushed the game so hard yeah. to be released when they did. I would have been happy to wait. I, I really would have been happy to wait to see you know, for for Cyberpunk to come out a bit later. Um, it wouldn't have made any difference to me. Um, I'm pretty sure there's, there's quite a few of our friends who wouldn't have really minded if it came out a bit later. And I know there are some 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 even content creators out there who who, who were who were screaming, "Oh, I just released the game already! We want the game already!" Well, you got the game. That's the problem. And now you're not and happy with the fact. Now that you're not happy the with the with the game. That's your own fault. You shouldn't have pushed for the game to be released. Uh, granted, yes, I don't believe that that she project really should have hyped the game up as much as they no. did. I think they should have given it a bit of a chance to to like. You know, similar. They so built it gonna... up to. They they built the ex expectations to high. Yes, and and it's it's look. One thing I can see from CD Projekt Red, they're not used to creating FPSs. Mm. Um, you can see it by the way the game is designed. Also, uh, sometimes you hold a gun and it's not there. Yeah, so you can see that it's their own engine. I give them I give them props yes. for that. It's a very it's a very good engine for their own engine, but it needs a lot of work. There's a lot of work that needs to be done on the engine. I think that it it. it it's got a lot of promise, mm -hmm. um, especially considering the fact that they, they've actually did it themselves, which is, which is quite impressive. But they are definitely more used to The Witcher and those kinds of games, uh, which is more of an RPG on that side of things. I don't think they're too used to the whole building of, 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 a, of a, a, an RPG FPS because, wow, um, we're basically playing Deus Ex, yeah. uh, essentially. Uh, it was actually, I, I don't know who it was. Uh, oh, Razor Fist, that's right. I was watching a Razor Fist video the other day and uh, he, was, he was talking about the, the, the game and how it was, it felt, you know, like Deus Ex. He said, you know, we've just got an, uh, another Deus Ex. So, and I agree with him actually, you know, it is another Deus Ex. I'm just hoping that CD Projekt Red does what they did with The Witcher and just build on it. You know, mm. Make it better, do something that'll change it so that it doesn't seem so Deus Ex. One thing I will ask so far, obviously you're not there yet, but CD Projekt Red, if you ever get this video, please put more stories or more interactions with your romance characters because like it gets to the point and starts in the beginning like it's your friend and then I'm, I'm not going to spoil I can't romance. I can't really spoil it, no, but the point that I'm trying to get to is that <laughs> after they have their sexy time scene, it's like, okay, cool, the guy, the in, in my playthrough that I have right now, um, they, they did the nasty, and it's just like, now, okay, he, you can't speak to him, he hardly, he's he's not there, it's like, okay, cool, I'm done with this person now. It, it kind of feels like an afterthought, 
way it would have been nice to like build that relationship with the character I don't really and stuff so. <laughs> i know you don't care but like i like this person and i want to see more of him because he's got a really twisted sad story to him and then you give you give us like three quests and and okay okay cool you now in a relationship and you never ever see your your boyfriend anymore and you can't speak to him it's like no 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 you need a bit more story and if if anyone has played the female version of v and you've gone that route you would know it's the river character um he needs more backstory look yeah, zip I, obviously I, I, doesn't know who that is but no, i don't you're right it's just it feels like it was an afterthought yeah well you know like honestly uh, that was what, what most of it was from from I mean, the sex scenes and all that stuff just made just an afterthought um it's like they were doing what the witcher did basically you know where, where a girl was basically just Buffing everything and anything and everything. Mm. There's no real romantic connection. The only romantic connection she has to the main protagonist or the main characters, yeah, like but even Triss in, and Yennefer and all that. Stuff. Even in The Witcher, Triss and Yennefer are more involved in the storyline than yeah. this guy is at the moment. Well, I mean, there's a possibility that, might, that, that he might be an insular character as well. I mean, the whole thing is like, for, for me, romance is not the part of a game that I'm interested in. Um, I've never really been interested in the romance part of any game. I am I interested in games. I, I, I like the story, but you gotta you gotta draw me in i've got to want to carry on playing you know mm -hmm. there are certain games that i've played where i've played and stopped and played and stuff and i can come back to it like a few months later and go oh okay so that's why i, I remember now why i wasn't playing with all that and at the moment that is what you're doing with cyberpunk no i'm waiting for them to actually fix the game um i'm happy to leave it for now i'm happy to not play the game until i'm actually until the game is actually working properly that's the whole thing i like it um there's a few tw twists and tweaks that need to happen, but I'm liking it. I'm well, still playing it. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, but again, I'm happy to wait. Uh, I don't think that I'm. I don't want to be annoyed halfway through the game where characters will literally, like the police, will just teleport, will teleport through a wall and constantly come at you. You'll like, you'll bump someone, and then you're like, oh, well, police are coming. Oh fuck, you know? Yeah. You can't have that. You can run away from them. I didn't yesterday. Yay! <laughs> no, but the mechanic is terrible. I don't think there was a very good mechanic that they designed there. I think they, they need, there's, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, and I, I don't mind. I know, guys, CD Projekt Red, I know you guys are working on the clock, and we believe me, we do thank you for the work that you're doing, and we know that it's not an easy thing. Um, this game has been a long time coming, so I, 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 I do understand. It's been a, you guys have been working you know, day in, day out, and your asses must be really tired of sitting on chairs all day, and your eyes must be killing you from staring at screens all day. So you know what? Just so you know, CD Projekt Red, CD Project Red much love. We yeah, still we love still you. love you. Yeah, we still love you. Yeah. Anyway, that's enough of CD Projekt Red. I think, you know, we're not really Yeah, we went really like Little anymore. Nightmares, CD Projekt Red. So we yeah. kind of get off topic there, but... We always get off topic. Yeah, we do. kind of what the point is. This yeah. is why we're doing this. <laughs> Also, this one was not planned, so we're yeah. kind of just going with whatever comes up in our heads. But um, another idea that I have for the podcast, so you guys know, is I'm, I'm hoping to try and get it right with this one, but I want to have stuff playing in the background so that you don't just see our faces the whole time. And you've actually yeah. got something to watch while we're... Look at Who wants to see me, you um, So, yeah, I am going to try and do that and see if I can get that right. Because I think that would be interesting, but that's... She might just take some gameplay footage from our streams and stuff. That's actually not a problem. Yeah, that, that's besides the point. Um, anyway... Besi beside the point? I don't think it's beside the point. That's actually pretty on the point. Anyway... Yeah. It's not something that should be mentioned, but anyway. Why? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so... Then, then, then we're gonna get to the other gaming news. I mean, I know mainly most of it's mainly gaming, but it's only because you know I'm a gamer. <laughs> I don't have much else to geek about. Um, well, when we have more planning, we'll have more stuff to geek yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is the first one. Um, more gaming stuff. So, the government here in the UK being epic uh, for once. <laughs> they're, they're. They're actually going off the sculptors now, the sculptors that uh, that have been sculpting PlayStation 5s and uh, Xbox Series Xs. They're uh, now deciding to go after them. I'm, I'm quite keen on that, to be honest. And then they'll they'll play the victim and say, oh, oh we're just 
We're creating a market for someone. Yeah, at a thousand five hundred dollars for an Xbox for an Xbox Series X or PS5. Peace, man. That's not that's not creating a market for someone. That's that is ridiculous, you know. And this is why I believe that the government's doing a good job by actually capping you guys and catching you and giving you shit. You deserve it, seriously. You know, and I don't care what anyone says, they actually deserve it. I think most people would agree with me on that one. What they've done, uh, you know, you're running your eye over there. What they've done is, yes, okay, granted, it's only 10% of the market, but you know what? That's 10% of PS5s and Xboxes that could have gone to real people, guys who actually wanted to, to, to play on those particular consoles. Instead, these consoles now are either being sold at ridiculous prices to to dumb people who are willing to actually spend that kind of money to the the sitting inside a garage and just festering there you know no one's gonna get a chance to play those because i can because i can tell you now there are a lot of people out there that are just going well fuck it i'll wait mm. i'm not gonna go and i'm not gonna go and uh just shoot off to 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 the sculper and go and buy myself an xbox series x or a ps5 mm -hmm. No, I'll just wait. I, I'm not. For, for, I'm for one. And not, I'm for one. I'm not buying a PS5. Well, that's, not, that's not, not the only reason. No, we 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 well, it sold out quickly, but that was because of the box. No, but also you said that you don't want to get one until the. Well, the shit sold it out. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of shit. See, the same thing with 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 consoles is the same thing with uh, games. You know, wait until they fix the shit. It's the same thing with the Xbox Series X. Both both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X have issues. Mm -hmm. you know, that's also why we got older generation kind of PCs. Not older generation like, they're, oh, they're so old, they can't run any game. Just, you know, they're a year older than the current models because, you know, every month a new graphics card comes out and so on and so forth. I mean, they're not the, the they're not GTX 20, 2080 Ti's. Mm -hmm. It's not like we need that anymore. But still, you know, We've got two good PCs that are actually still viable for many, many years, especially considering the fact that CPUs are quite Except good. Except when it goes beep, 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 beep. Yeah, but that was all because of her. By the looks of things, it was the RAM. I just swapped my RAM out for her RAM, and I started her PC. I started working again, and I took my RAM, I put it back in my PC, and put her RAM back in there, and it was fine. And now there's a pretty purple and red glow coming from my PC, and it hasn't beeped yet, but I'm still dreading the day that it does. Because then, then I will lose back. my shit. Yeah, yeah, send it back. But that's part and parcel of the process, unfortunately. I know. There are there are duds. Let's just hope this one dad. isn't a dud. <laughs> I'm a dud. Let's just hope this one actually isn't a dud and I managed to fix the problem. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was just a random issue. And I'm pretty sure it was because the technician didn't know what he was doing and decided to actually send the computer back he's like oh, no, no, i was back. so i said you can ask the, the don't feel, say who it is i feel so bad for the person that's getting my complaint email it is <laughs> so long because i sent i sent my pc back on the 27th of january they got it on the 30th beep, 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 of beep, january beep. and we got it back on the 17th of february so that's like almost a full month 10 days short of a full month that you've had my pc and it comes back even after you've said oh no we've checked it and everything's fine and we switch it on and it makes the exact same sound that we sent it away for i feel so sorry for the person that's getting my complaints and this is coming from a complaint person they flash they, they, they flash the mother mm. or flash it that engineer did absolutely jack shit on this PC. Yeah, I bet you just reset the motherboard and everything. Because you must battery out like I did. <laughs> Only thing you managed to do there was get into the, the, the BIOS, but then you have to work further into the computer and realize it wasn't that. Because you got to turn it off and on and off and on, and you'll find out what the problem was because he just let it run overnight. But anyway, we're talking about scalpers. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> um, I've got my PC. I, I can play games on my PC. At some point, I'd like to get the, um, the the Xbox thing back, or at least buy Forza, because I still love that game. Forza Horizon. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the motorsport one. I think that it's um, it's much of a muchness, but I do I do I do love Horizon 4. It's a freaking epic game. I'm I'm really loving it. So I, I do think I'm gonna buy it at some point. Again. Either buy it or or get a game pass against it. Because there, there are some good games on Game Pass. I know you <laughs> didn't see them, but they're there. You can play all the Gears games. Mm -hmm. I know that you thought that you couldn't. I didn't love what you could. But I promise you can. <laughs> I didn't like you could. 
Anyway, so we are going to probably get the game passes at some point mm -hmm. again, just so that Kaz can play the Gears game. And these PCs can handle it, I'll have to get her a controller. Just a bit too much. Yeah, because now since he was on the paper, shooting games. They are very good, they are very good with shooting games. I'm, not with FPSs. I'm not that good with mouse and keyboard shooting games. Right. Oh, that's about to sound pretty good at the FPS and the mouse and keyboard. I'm better than I am on, on PlayStation. <laughs> and action! Anyway, um, I don't know, I don't have one of those trappers, and quite frankly, we're not Hollywood Hollywood people. Um, mm. I'm not a fan of Hollywood people anyway. Um, that's beside the point. So, um, so yeah, with regards to the sculptors, you know, screw them. It would have been nice to have a PS5, it would have been nice to have an Xbox Series X, but it's, it's absolutely 100% not necessary. No, I agree. We can wait. It's not mm. like we need it right now. Our house is quite small anyway. We've got a PS4 Pro connected to the TV at the moment. Mm. And that's still going to be used as a playing console. It's just now it's going to be used and split between two TVs, but we don't have two TVs yet. So it doesn't really matter as of yet. Yeah, we need to get a TV and then we can think about getting the other console. Yeah, because we also so that, have to set up the old console, the, PS, yeah. the old PS4. And the old PS4 is going to be used for watching TV. Well, actually, I think it's going to be like display purposes mainly. And watching TV. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So. Um, yeah, for us, not not a big deal, not the end no. of the world. We can we can really live without without a console right now. I just feel bad for the people that actually yeah. go and pay that much I, for I, it I when you can get. For them. Not like I do, but I don't because you're stupid enough to actually pay like double, or triple bad. the that's price. Just, that's just like you know. That's just going. You know, I wouldn't even call it sympathy. That's just like you know. Why would you do that? You know, you've heard everyone say, just wait. Mm. It's not the end of the world if you wait for it. No, but yes. then you have some, sorry, then you have some of those parents that do it out of desperation because they've got the kids that go, I wanted it, I want it now. And like, like Moira Rose, when she throws a tantrum in, in, in Shit's Creek. Got this, she's got this thing with Shit's Creek. It's actually when, not a bad show. No, though, no, actually. I love the show. But like when she throws a tantrum, when, when, um, there was something that happened and she stood there going ah! Ah! like throw a tantrum because you can't get a playstation 5 those parents will go and buy their kids one from the sculpt it. so i feel yeah. bad I for them i don't feel bad for them either i say you know what you tell your kids straight you will get one when i can find one until then you can wait like everyone else, you are not special. You are not the most important snowflake in the world. You have to wait like everyone else does. That's how I am. Mm. I am a dick. I will tell the kids straight, you can fucking wait. Simple. It's not up to this anyone coming else. This the person who wanted one on launch. Yes, I did at one point once it on launch, but because I didn't get it and because it wasn't I there, know. I wasn't. I was going to the scalper. No, I was like, well, fuck it. If I can't get it. I can't get it. Yeah. I'll wait until it comes out until I can actually get one. We tried. Yeah, we did. We tried to get one, but it's, it's that and an Xbox, and we didn't, couldn't get either. Yeah, of them, but... that and I like my sleep, and I don't want to sit until up yeah. until freaking midnight waiting, going refresh, 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 yeah. refresh. I'm not that desperate. Neither of us were that desperate for it, so we were like, no, nah, fuck it, we can wait. And we did. We waited just fine. I don't mind waiting even longer for a PS5 and an Xbox. I mean, you know, the, the fact of the matter is they're not absolutely necessary. The Xbox especially is not necessary because we have two unbelievably powerful PCs that are, are pretty damn good and they can handle quite a lot. But there's reasons why we're getting it. So. Yeah, there are reasons. It's, it's more of a sentimental thing than anything else. I'm never going to play on it because I've got a PC, so I'm not interested in it. Um, anything Microsoft I can play on my PC, so I'm good. But it's also like we're geeks, we have to have all the consoles. <laughs> yeah, but if anything came out on the Xbox One, it's going to come out on PC. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that was that's one of the things. I, I'm, I'm happy to see that the government is going after the sculptors. I don't care how much they, they say, oh, they're just, they're just appeasing a market. They're not appeasing any kind of market. What they're doing is actually... Um, yeah, okay, but um, firstly, what I think the government is doing is right, you know, stopping them from actually doing this because they're not, they're not innocent in all of this, mm. you know. How many of them are actually paying the tax? I always thought scalping was an illegal kind of thing and I still feel it's like an illegal kind of thing. In, so I don't in like sports it. it is. If you scalp tickets, it's illegal. No, for me, I feel like scalping anything is illegal. 
Yeah, I, well, I, I would feel like the same thing, but I think that's why the government is starting to actually crack mm -hmm. down on that kind of thing, because it, it, it does seem like it's very possible that it could be, uh, or that it could be made, made illegal, which is good. You know, give everyone a fair chance to buy something at the same price. It's not fair on people, or it's not fair to charge people a, a ridiculous markup. A couple of pounds markup, okay, so it sells for 450 here, but it sells for 460 at at um, Smith's, and it sells for 470 somewhere else. Okay, that's that's doable, mm. but those prices are fine. If it goes up to 2,000 oh, pounds for a fucking PlayStation 5, no, mm. that's that's overdoing. It. That is way overdoing. It. I'm sorry, I will not spend any any of that kind of money on a on a uh, any kind. But of that's why style. I always thought that scalping things was illegal because they always mark it up so I mean, so that's just my thinking and my th my my things behind it <laughs> um that's what i grew up thinking and it's what i still think it's mainly because i'm not paying tax. that's essentially why it's not legal but i'm sure the government will find a way to actually crack down on mm. you know at some point but nonetheless yes so um we are still going to explore Scotland as soon mm -hmm. as we get a chance to. We're going to do our own area at some point. Um, there are some nice places here. We're going to see if we can find a nice place. I'll even look up the history of that particular castle. And I will give you a whole rundown. I will say this castle was born, blah, 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 blah. It was made by this king at this time. And this chieftain at that time. Blah, blah, blah. So I'll be the most boring person you will ever see on camera. Unless you like history. But that's also a different <laughs> video. That's obviously not part of the podcast. No, that won't be part of the podcast. I just thought I'd let you know yeah. that we are still going to be doing that. Yeah. We are still going to be running off to do that kind of stuff in, in, in Scotland. Um, but yeah, anything else? What no, else have you got on your side? No, I think that's it. You reckon? Cool. Right, we've all talked your ears off for long enough, I think, and most of you guys are pretty buggered off by now anyway. For those of you who did stay behind and watch we the entire video, we like the entire you. video, because there's no such thing as videos anymore, they're not all videos. For those of you guys who watched the entire way through, thank you. We love you. you. Thank you for staying. And um, also, if we did actually do a good job, uh, as, as some of the, the content creators say, if we did do a good job and, and you'd like what you saw, you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the crap that we speak, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a like, give us a follow. I, I'm, I'm are... guessing it's that side, but know. it could be that side. There somewhere, there's a but, subscribe button. Yeah. But also hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. It doesn't do anything, as we all know, but you never know, you might be notified. But we also are going to put this, the, the obviously the voice version of this up on Anchor. We're going to put oh, it on up Anchor. on it's gonna go all, up on Yeah, Spotify, we're going to be a, a fancy little podcast thing going yes, on Anchor, Spotify, so Spotify and all the other Amazon. little things. Is Amazon um, doing it? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out but as it goes along. Yeah. Please give us a, a follow there. Yeah, that would follow be awesome. us everywhere. And listen to us while we're, while we're driving. So for those of you who are listening to us right now, yeah. Thanks for listening. Yeah. It's been really awesome. Um, you will see us again next week. We're going to be doing the same thing. It'll be on a Friday normally, unless we have some sort of a technical issue like we mm. did yesterday where we couldn't actually release on a Friday. But it will be around the same time we will release the, 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 the podcast, essentially. Thankfully, it is a lot of talking. So, yeah. And there's not a lot of video in going on. Um, so it does make it podcasting a little bit easier, mm -hmm. to be honest. But um, at the end of the day, yes, guys, for those of you who stayed all the way to the end, thank you so much. Please subscribe. We'd love it if you guys could subscribe to us right here. Um, you'll be seeing me, or if you haven't already seen me, you probably will have seen me already. I have just streamed Modern Gate. Um, and uh, I'm sure you've been enjoying watching that. Kez will be watching, I don't know if this will be up tomorrow, but if it is up to, by tomorrow, is it up to be up by tomorrow? Well then uh, you'll see Kez tomorrow, or if it's today, today, you'll see her playing. Bye. Scary, scary. Yes. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for, for watching, listening, and all that great stuff. Um, oh, yes, you're gonna, we're going to be doing bit shoot as well. I forgot, we are going to be opening a bit shoot channel. Um, she's not, no, she, I told her about <laughs> this. She's pretending like she doesn't know. She actually does. Um, the video will also go up on bit shoot. There you will hear all the swearing, <laughs> unlike... In, in YouTube where you won't hear any swearing, but there you'll hear the swearing and the cuss words that I will be that, that I've launched out. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching us. 
We love you. Ek hart, ek harkie, yo. We oh. appreciate you and we have No, ek harkie, yo. Afrikaans nogal. Ons is, ons is, ons is nog steeds Zuid-Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. Ja. Anyway, yes. Guys, we love you so much. I love you. We love you. And remember to follow us on all those great places. But as always, remember. Kick it, Gippy. Gippy, Gippy.